Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night to all of you, depending, of course, on your geographical location. Um, we are very glad that you're joining our session on the blind spots in scaling. And before we really get into the mechanics, let me please start with a tale about the white elephants of Siam. In Siam, modern Thailand, white elephants were considered sacred animals. And one legend associated with Buddha says that the night before his mother gave birth to him, she dreamed of a white elephant giving her a pure lotus flower. All white elephants were actually the property of the king of Siam. Since they were sacred, white elephants were not allowed to do any work and they had to be well cared for and they required a tremendous amount of resources to maintain. All white elephants were given great honor by the people. If the king of Siam was pleased with one of his courtiers, he would give him a white elephant along with money, land and servants to take care of it. However, if the king was displeased with one of his courtiers, he would also give him the white elephant, but no land nor money to help to take care of it. The courtier would then be required to take care of this sacred white elephant out of his own resources. And since the elephant was sacred, the unfortunate courtier could not even put it to work in order to help earn money for its care. And because of the large amount of money required to take care of the elephant, the courtier would actually be soon financially ruined and dishonored. So how does this still actually relate to scaling? Well, we see that actually successful initiatives work on the right problems and promote solutions that can solve these problems. However, in practice, we see that the combination of blind spots can actually be at work that prevent good intentions from turning into good interventions. So how did we actually end up starting our session with a tale about white elephants in Siam? Well, Daniela de Winter, Ellen Lammers, Jana Corner, and I, we are writing a paper on the blind spots and dilemmas in scaling, in scaling for food and nutrition security. And the article is actually based on a literature review on scaling and reviews of the insights, innovations, and outcomes of GCP4 projects that were funded, but also a selection of other GCP and ARF projects. So our preliminary review of the project shows that scaling innovation for, for food and nutrition security can actually sometimes give birth to the white elephants that I just introduced you to before especially when we're not aware of the blind spots that can come into play when we're designing and implementing our scaling efforts. So we developed today's session as a participatory learning event, an event where we can actually reflect together on the challenges for scaling innovation. And for sure in the keynote, you heard about many challenges and also several pathways. During this session, we will share our insights with you in an alternative way. We will actually narrate three fables that we feel are exemplary for the dilemmas that are involved when we want to scale for impact. And these dilemmas, they are not easily resolved. So don't expect at the end of today's session, a neat list of solutions that you can you know, take home and, and work on. But we do think that there, actually, there is actually a great value in um, unpacking these dilemmas and hearing about each other's experiences in dealing with them. Especially since now in this session, we have a very diverse audience with different professional and personal backgrounds. So who knows, maybe we'll end up with some maybe preliminary answers. So the session of today is um, organized as follows. First, you'll be paired with two other participants and you'll be led, led to a breakout room where you can get to know each other and in particular, share your interests and experiences in scaling innovation for impact. After this first breakout session, we will actually return to the plenary room and we'll use Mentimeter for a quick sharing of your experiences with this speed date. My colleagues and I will then narrate the three fables that I just uh, told you about before and explain why they're actually exemplary for the blind spots and the dilemmas that come with scaling. And then you actually randomly divide it into the three breakout rooms where we will discuss 
um, one dilemma and it will actually, this discussion will be led by a moderator and you will discuss your experiences about these key dilemmas in a group. Then this session will be wrapped up plenary by Daniela de Winter in a plenary session. And um, again, we can share reflexive thoughts through Mentimeter. So for now, we'll first put you into groups of three and we challenge you to get to know each other um, and you know, just share why you're here, what is your interest in scaling, what's your experiences in scaling. And we look forward to seeing you again in the plenary room in 10 minutes.